And welcome back friends. Okay, last we left off. Last we left off. What actually happened? We defeated the Chaos Hordes in the west of the Empire and we managed to take and rebuild Grissel. Now, there is some remainder here still fleeing and we have to probably chase this and clean this up properly. And there is also a high possibility that this town is under Chaos Siege or there's a chaos stack somewhere around here. So this is potentially something going up here. This is important for us because this is very near our border with our friends, right? The, the Kislev is our friends. Then, then we need to, okay, so that's happened. And our armies are heading back to rearm and equip. Over in the east, over in the east, the Chaos are marching through. Right? If we have a look here, the Chaos managed to break through and sack one, two provinces from what used to be Kislev ground. So they've broken their way in and they're fighting downwards. We might have to choose a place to make our stand. We'll see what happens here. So, Chaos are coming from this direction and they're coming from across the sea we might end up having to go up here and to deal with them on the sea, on the shore side to burn these towns down because we can't allow them to continue launching raids on us unimpeded right so let's pre let's look at this button again and let's look at the military forces there's a hostile army here these are rebels it's a small rebel army. We'll sh we'll snipe it with this stack here in a second. Then there is the hostile chaos army here, and otherwise, that is it. I believe otherwise that is it. Bretonia is going somewhere. Like Bretonia has um, Bretonia has three stacks here. They are our military ally. Finally. They came to our senses eventually, but I don't know exactly where they're heading. So this will be interesting to see where they go. Okay, so let's jump through our stacks to see if there's any port, if there's any characters or units that we can effectively use here. Uh, we don't really need to do anything with him because well, maybe we can mess with them. No, I think for the now we will simply keep him in this province deployed. Because there's no immediate use for him that I can see, unless maybe we want to snipe or maybe harass that stack. What? Right, let's go to the next unit, Carl Franz. Now, not likely. Carl Franz. Actually, they before Carl be Franz, judged. let's do Griswold. Griswold, he has no penalty because he's not acted. He's gonna. S mm, we need to hit this wizard right here. He's level six. Wizard focused in battle skills. I trust no so man. we'll take Griswold and we have a that's an acceptable percentage Die. chance of success. Then we'll take it. Yes. Great. Great. This is very good. I need another one. We've got two of the same. Interesting. I think we've got two of the same. Let's double check on Griswold. Did we get two of the same four? No, just one, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, Griswold is pretty badass. We might actually end up giving him some items and weapons, depending on what happens. I the more we play this game, friends, the more I feel we are underutilizing our heroes in battle. This is probably a, a side effect of playing so many other Total War games where you had to absolutely preserve your hero, your generals, till the very last, right? They were not something that initiated your fights. But considering considering um, Karl Franz, we might actually use Karl Franz as the initiation mechanic for most of these fights, right? He's on a flying horse and he hits like a truck on a flying horse falling from the sky on top of people. Mm. Mm. So. We will consider this into our future planning and future execution of battles. Yeah, he's going to have this ability very soon. Oh, I need to... Mm. We need to deal with these things, by the way. While we are here, let us double check 
For the Runefang, I need to deploy a Battle Hero Wizard to this province to the north. Okay, so I can probably put him on the edge right here and I'll, and I'll trigger, right? Let's double check the map. Yes, I can put him right on the edge and I'll trigger. I am Prince and Emperor. This is, I think this is right now is a low risk to get to move the wizard out. Let's actually, what did I want to see? What is, hmm. Yeah, wizards remove that. Additional foreign damage caused. They can also deal damage to foreign armies quite well. Right, so this is damage armies, right? Yeah, damage armies, assault unit. Generate more income. This is interesting. Then again, a wizard's place isn't really to sit in the back end of the territory and not be very useful to us. We have the one point to spend on him. We might end up... Oh, we can't do arcane conduit. But we might do... I really want level 2 net. Like, I really want level 2 net because I think this ability is very, very powerful. Last for 10 seconds and there's a 16 second cooldown. This, I think, is very, very powerful. Um, we also need to remember that the cooldowns begin... The cooldown begins after the 10 seconds, right? So it's, it's 16 seconds of the target unit being unaffected by CC. Constant around self. If the target enemy is undead. So all undead get suffer this exorcism. It's a constant duration around self. Affects enemies in range. Yeah, it's just minus four leadership for all undead. Right, right, right. I want arcane corner because this is quite important as well. So we'll take a uh, thing to reduce miscast chance. If we power cast this, we just fire and magic. <coughs> Interesting. What is the upgrade of this? The area of effect. So, 45 meter area of effect is actually, let's say, it could probably catch four units that are side by side, or a whole melee. But it greatly increases the cooldown. I do think we'll take Earthing. I think that way we can power cast in more safety and not suffer health damage when we fail cast. Okay, so that's done then. The wizard will head off to there because he needs to trigger that quest for us. So then, as a side note, what do you ah, we deployed him. Okay, so we can't move. Maybe I wanted to take this guy and put him in our army. Where is this going? Where is that going? What is this army doing? They're marching. They're not raiding. Okay. Corruption one. Okay. Hmm. Yes. 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 Okay. So this Ready. army with Karl Franz. Show me the actually, let's level up our our wild witch hunter. Wily Witch Hunter. Now the question is Should we take Accusation? If we take Accusation we give him some combat potential in fights, right? He also does significant amounts of missile damage. This is this 362 is is significant. There's nothing to sneeze at. He has no armor high weapon damage but mediocre attack and defense. Like this is 36, 34. Let's have a look at our. Let's have a look at our. Where is um? By the comet. Not him. Where's one of these boys? Uh. Yep, loading, loading, loading. Ah, oh, this doesn't show stats. We, I guess, cannot see stats because he's not embedded in an army. What does the emperor be? Yes, my lord. But I would guess that these guys have much higher combat potential than the Witch Hunter, but the Witch Hunter has a ranged attack. Honor before glory. These icons look pretty cool. Ah, uh, let's not even look at Bretonians. Let's not do that. So. Absolutely not. Karl Franz will initiate this. and defeat this stack. Who calls? Right? Do I need him to do anything else? We might wanna... Cease. Mm. 
It's hard to say, friends. It is hard to say. But we definitely want to get rid of the, the, the this stack here, right? So let's do this now. Fight for our nation. Right. And eh, let's auto this battle. Let's see if we get anything interesting then. Mm-hmm. Some money. Uh-huh. We gain a rank. Uh-huh. And then we choose. More money. Pick up the pace. And we'll kill the enemy battle. This is quite interesting because this makes one of our cavalry units even faster. Or even this can make Karl Franz even faster. By the way, this banner system, right? We've not really spoken about this banner system. This banner system seems to work by the uh does he have the banners or does the army have the banners? How do I find that out? How do I find that out? Oh, let's 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 level him up first and we we'll worry about banners. So now we have deadly onslaught, right? We have both of our combat orientated 45 second cooldown abilities. Why? Wait a second. Level 15, we'll get this. We'll get the Death Claw. Right? Right. We don't need level 3 Pegasus because we'll have a Death Claw. Because we're Carl Franz. Okay. So that's happening. The other thing that I would think is worth talking about is we might want to end up pick up this ability plus 10% movement speed on more of our army generals. Because for one point, this is a significant this is a significant effect Discipline province, plus three province, leader of renown, recruitment cost cheaper, casualties suffered from attrition, feverant. This might be interesting. But it's also hard to say if we need to spec our generals this way. Lightning strike. Yeah, quartermaster, upkeep. Mm. Logistics, replenishment rate. Ambush chance, chance of intercepting an army using the underway. Hardline experience for local province. Unique recruitment. Oh, headhunter alert. Yeah. Mm. We will see how we, what we consider the move. So let's. How are we going to use the remainder of our movement points? We need fifty percent movement points. This army does not have vision anymore because. Support. Let, let's assume that the AI deals with, deals on these following steps of logic, right? We killed their only source of vision on the camp, campaign map near us. Therefore, this army should not be able to see... Like, for instance, like over here, right? We can see up to our border. We cannot see through it, only to the very edge, right? It would be very interesting to see to plant an army somewhere so we can see further than normal. It'll be interesting to see where this army begins to disappear, right? Like, does it disappear if it goes into a set of woods, or does it? Or do we always see it until it enters an ambush stance, right? So, what I'm going to try to do is assume for a second that we can run across to this wood line and be invisible to that stack of to this stack here of chaos army. So let's try this. We'll get to there. Actually, do we need to do that? Minus two. We might want to just park our army back in the city to increase the public order. Yeah. Nope, this public order can continue to diminish for a bit. So we're going to go to there, into a light forest. And see how this army reacts. Because I don't know if they see us or not. Let's go! Let's find out because seeing there is well, let's find out. No. Now our assassin. Watcher can guard your own army and guard does what? Reduces the success chance 
of an enemy hero against our own army by eight. Okay, misdirect. What does misdirect do? Block army. Yeah, but what does it do? Of course, we can cancel that. Uh, Watcher, I think, is mm, misdirect protagonist or bodyguard. Bodyguard will reduce the success of enemy heroes in the local region. So I think it's a throw up between misdirect. For me personally right now, it's a throw up between... Actually, it's also accusation. Because I think... This is a pretty... For a 90 second cooldown, this means this ability is pretty powerful. With the, with the short range as well. Bloody Blade, weapon damage increase. The thing is, we're not going to put him in weapon... In, in melee fighting range. Elusive missile damage, fleet of foot, spotting foreign armies. Yeah, yeah. Leadership, hit points, melee attack, charge bonus, slippery. It's a shame there isn't a range weapon focused trait here, as there is one here. It would be nice to be able to spec him as a range focus character. But otherwise, I think we will take... If we take Misdirect, then this, this character is both useful against... Can I block by normal? Can I block by default? Yes, I can, I can normally slow down an army, but this will allow me to actually be able to chase them down. Because this will be minus 50 by default. And then we can make it an additional 15 for a sum total of 65. I think this is the most powerful ability in terms of effect gained for our three points before we choose the one pointer. And the one pointer is probably going to be a protagonist. Let's do this. Hmm. No, let's not do this. Let's take the massive nuke. I have this, I wonder. Yeah, let's let's take the massive nuke. Well, nuke. This is a damage over time ability, but they just call damage over time abilities as direct damage, which should be instead called sustained damage. But that is for from another video. Okay, so that's happened. Here. Let's then flip through our stacks again. In fact, I wonder, do we have to do that? Look at events. We can look at our forces. Uh, sort by size, action points. We can sort by action points. Okay, this army here. This army here is maintaining order and, rege and regenerating men. We can get here cavalry. We are one, two, yeah, five. We should pick up some cavalry. Empire's blessings, yes. Should we pick up that much cavalry? No, let's do that much cavalry. Then we'll continue to regenerate, to regenerate the uh, public order, and we are also, yeah, our army upkeep is becoming a problem. Let's double check our economy, details, trade. We cannot trade to Kislev because what? Where is the Kislev capital? It's there. Kislev don't own this ground. Okay, that's a problem. Well, we're here actually. This is improving. I will listen. Would you guys like a defensive? Short. No, you wouldn't. Mm-hmm. This one's also improving. This is also improving. So okay, let's. Interesting. Interesting. Right, because we turned the tax off. Turn the tax on, it's that much. Mm -hmm. 
No, let's turn the tax off here because it's a small gain and I want to stretch this out as long as I possibly can. Uh -huh, that's the provinces, this is the known factions. Britannia, that's one, two, that's three Britannia, four Britannia, okay. Kislev is only in Kislev, Noska, yeah. Southern realms and undead. Uh huh. And then let's go back to this menu. Oh, this is nice, okay, right. So, forces here. Oh, actually done like this. Interesting. This this school is quite nice. A little bit. I wish I could make these portraits to be a little bit smaller so I can fit more of them onto one location. By action points. So acted. This guy I can deploy, right? Even though he has no action points, I can deploy him. Yes, general. Because. Yes, my lord. How should we proceed? He cannot. Then this army is regenerating. I'm, mm, you know, I, I don't know how I feel about this rocket artillery, right? Because it doesn't feel like it's an anti infantry weapon. I honestly feel that the mortars do significantly more work for us than these did. But they do, they do have two uh, chevrons, right? This one has two chevrons, this one has one. The cannons. I think the cannons are just there to take down towers. They have not proven to be effective at all at nailing infantry. So? Um, right, so we'll not use this because I just don't like it. We'll use instead the classic way of just flipping through. He'll also see. He has no action points, but he can deploy. Um, so we'll give him some experience. Right, what, is the, what does this thing actually do? Deploy hero, construction cost. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe we'll build something here. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, okay. Okay. Are you... Mm, why is there no... Are you not in... Oh, because you forced march. Of course you did. This, 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 this. Okay, right. That's the. Uh, that's all of our units that can act. Now, let's think about the economy investiture. We need to continue to expand our e economy. How can we expand it? that I think. How can we expand it to the best effect? Grisel is rebuilding. This one we can push up to oh, that. Is that worth doing? I think that's worth doing actually. Remember this to this. Right, right, right. Some of our money We'll probably try to leave like 5k just in case we go again go into deficit by one of our trade routes being blocked off. I want to come over here and I want to burn this to the ground. I need to give them. Uh, we need to give them back a lesson, friends. We need to pay back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I can't remember what our construction plan was for Midland. Ah. Uh. Where is it? Yeah, we need to go. Yeah, we need to. We need to just push up these buildings. We just need to push up these buildings. Weissmund is there. Kronberg is there. So now this is a lot more secured, right? Like the, these stacks are gone. Kronberg is now far more secured than it was beforehand. Yes, this one we're pushing to three because we want to be able to build demigriffonites in this region because this they're going to be, this is where they get the most experience per level. However, we will, for the immediate future, focus on monetary income. Yeah, and we'll leave it at 5G. Research-wise, we're making rifled barrels. At some point, we're going to have to... Mm, we might have to begin refocusing... You know, now that we have a Templar Sigma, I think we... I can't remember where we got... We got this in this one of the cities that we captured. We might actually... Five... Yeah... This is quite good. 
20% reduction in hero cost, but these are all quite good. This is good, this is good, this is good. We might actually next, after this, invest in Templar Sigma Technologies. In fact, we probably will. So we'll do it with that, and it's an end time, my friends. Oh, we have a commandment, of course. The commandment here will be... What do we need? We don't really need that. We do, but not really, because the amount of wood that we're willing to invest here is, is not amazing. Or do we? Reduction in corruption, texture. Let's do this. No, it's a 5% trade bonus. So this number for us will also go up when this ticks through. So I'm expecting this to be like, I don't know, 550 next time. If nothing drastic changes, like one of our trade routes getting blocked off. Oh yeah, we forgot about this. Okay. So we can shift around some of our characters. So this title, right treasure that's what having that guy in that office gives us which is quite nice but we can also move him to there or to there I don't want to put him in the Reich's Marshal position because it doesn't really give him any benefits right this is plus two Reich's, Reich's Guards recruitment so the person we put into here should be a cavalry commander we should make a cavalry army at some point with all Reichsguard. In fact, we will do that when the Midland completes. So we will start training. Maybe we should start on that soon. We should start training a cavalry commander to take this role. Uh huh. So this is cavalry commander, and this is wizard. This position will be taken by the. Uh, where is this guy that we can recruit from Altdorf? It will be our friend, Balthazar Gelt. Because all of our normal generals are lords. Right? So it has to be Balthazar Gelt that gets the most power. Even though we can, in theory, have a general that is part of this office, he might not always have a wizard with him. Right? And Balthazar Gelt, look at the things that this gives him. Right? Plus two battle wizard local provinces and 18 magical power reserve. And Balthazar Gelt will give us plus two battle wizards recruitment in the local province. So this is quite impressive. This can, we can stack this very, very nicely. We should, we should endeavor to begin building. The problem is we'd have to kill one of the infantry. Maybe we need to move it to here. To move this building to this slot. So we can still build infantry, right? Because remember, in in the Reichland, we need the core buildings, which are the the port, the school, right? So one, two. We have to have the school. We have to have the port because these are unique buildings to Altdorf. The kilns, three, because it's a unique chain to Altdorf. One. Two, three, four, and five, I think, right? No, but then we ugh, well then we need tanks. To get tanks, we need this thing. No, that's inc that's that's no, that doesn't work. So basically we can't have the Taylor's Guild. That is a shame. One we have to have guns because with this to build a Luminarch we need to have the engineers workshop so we have guns if we have guns we need to have the armory one two three four five six and we can't have six because the sixth slot is always the city-state so we forego the tailors guild that means that this needs to get moved to somewhere else right um, the reason we have a stables here is because the horse breeder can give us very good the horse breeder can give us very good outriders right because from the horse breeder we get plus three outrider experience so we'll only push it we need to push it to level three we don't need to go to that because we'll build these guys elsewhere right then 
then, then, then. It does leave this slot open because really, what else do we need to build in Grunberg, right? We have the money, we don't need the coaching inn, we don't really need the cattle pastures, so on and so forth. This leaves us the training field that we can push up to maximum. So then in Altdorf, we will actually begin this process. No, we won't. We won't begin this process again until we have Tenji, because... Because the School of Magic is Tenji expensive. It's pretty expensive. Okay, then... Let's go back to the offices. So this is Cavalry Army, this is Wizard. Spy Master. Character gives title of Spy Master. Yeah, gives the character the title of Spy Master. Oh, so excuse me, the Emperor's Eye. All hero actions, success chance, all enemy hero minus five, all self hero plus five. And then 50% in hero action reduction cost for the local province. Local province, local province. Right. The artillery commander. Maybe we should move. So whoever has... Whoever has... Whichever army of ours has the most artillery should be this position. Because this is a faction-wide title. take this guy and we make him the engineer because he will have the majority of our artillery then he can't be any he can mean three he can mean two or three rank one rank five five ten ten emperor mm-hmm does it matter who goes into these offices I guess though I the, this one doesn't really matter. So let's check from our generals. I will marshal the Which one is the most likely to it press on and chase the enemy? The Empire. It's not going to be him. I will marshal it the might bay. be him. What does the It'll Empire probably be this guy. What is, who is this? Eldred. Where's Eldred? Eldred will be the Lector, the Arch Lector, because in the province that he's stationed in, he increases public order and reduces corruption. So he is good at being from the front, at the front of the army. Then Rick... Ready. What is our special benefits? Right, he does that. Hmm. No, I don't want to look at characters this way. Let's have a look at this army yes, my lord. and at him like this. Yes, yes, yeah. Interesting. We might make Otto. Let's do this because we want to have all. Can he not go into there? Why not? There we go. Thank you. So, like that. Okay, friends. And and what are we going to do next? And next, I think, we'll take a short break. And I'll see you all in the next video.